What's going on guys? So welcome to this little series that I'm doing right here. And this is gonna be hardcore Minecraft, but on a custom mod pack that I created with a custom little quest book, as you can see here. This is the starting section of the basic Minecraft stuff. And then we have a bunch of other sections. And yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and just get started. So let's uh, start off with some of the challenges. First off, it says start. Okay, so you wanna play some modded Minecraft, don't don't you? Yeah, we do. We'll get five levels XP, you know, 20 cooked chicken and a wood axe. And there we go. We can start off. Now it says we need to find some wood logs, all right? Any wood logs will work. So I guess we'll just go ahead and chop down this uh, tree right here. And this is a double tree, but also I have a tree capitator, also known as ore excavator. So what that does is chop down the whole tree in one go. And then we can just chop down the leaves just like that. And there we go. We literally chopped down the whole entire tree. So let's go ahead and move on. We got our logs let's complete this challenge there we go we got a few more logs and then we got five levels of xp what's next a crafting table yeah we're in a different biome right now in case you didn't tell right under there under my mini map over there in the top right it says the atacama desert i don't know how to say that but i'm guessing that's probably how you say it so it's not too modded you know it's just slightly modded so that we have a little bit different of an experience but it's pretty similar to vanilla Minecraft. It's just a tad bit different. You know, I created the quest book just so that we'd have a little bit of a guided path through it and not just, you know, wander aimlessly. Oh look, there's some coal right there. Let's go harvest that. We'll make a pickaxe real fast. Actually, we're gonna get some of this stone and make some stone tools, okay? So let's go ahead and make ourselves a wood pickaxe and then farm up some of this stone. And what we can do is we can actually, we'll farm this coal and then we can or excavate some of the stone watch this i just ore excavated the coal and now we're gonna ore excavate a bunch of this stone right here ready boom there we go now we have a bunch of stone we didn't have to sit here and mine at all so now we can make ourselves some stone tools let's make some sticks first and now we can make ourselves an axe a shovel and a pickaxe and we need another stick looking solid so now we have all of our first stone tools and we have now completed another challenge right here is where it was okay now this is not what it was we need to build a wood shovel <laughs> okay there we go wood shovel now we completed that challenge now we can move on to the next oh look we completed a whole line of them <laughs> but let's go ahead and claim these ones get our levels and we'll see what level we're at okay claim all these levels from these completed challenges and if we want to we can also just click this button and it will claim all the rewards so now we're at level 45 that's pretty good let's come over and grab this sugar cane right here that's pretty nice got some sugar cane just waiting here for us holy camoli uh that was a little scary scary <laughs> i can't even get my words out right there Regan said, "Skrrr." <laughs> that was kind of scary, though. That caught me off guard. So what is this? A ravine? An underwater ravine? It's huge, dude. We can't go down there yet. We're gonna drown. We need some like water potions. We got just we just got stuck in that shrub. That's interesting. And all these little cactus. They hurt. Look at that. We're playing hardcore Minecraft that is modded, all right? I added so many cool mods to this. Like for example, one is Project E, and this consists of a transmutation table and a tablet. And before we can even get these tablets, we need to have diamond and go to the nether, and then we need glowstone, and then we need to make this philosopher's stone, and then we need to have more diamonds before we can even create the table. But let me tell you what these are. So the table and the tablet are the same thing. The table is the one that you sit down like a block, like a crafting table. And the tablet is something that you can just hold in your inventory and open it up. And what they are is basically an item that allows you to put anything inside of it that has an EMC currency. As you can see, our cooked chicken has an EMC of each piece worth 64, but our 19 stack is worth 1,216. Everything else has EMC. And so when we put something in there that is worth EMC, then we basically occur that currency. That currency racks up 
up for our net worth, you could say, technically. All right, and we have learned that item. So if I put in this stone shovel, I will have nine EMC in my name, and I now have stone shovel known or learned. So if I ever put in anything else, like let's say I put in all this 1,216 EMC, well then I can pull out that many stone shovels that racks up to 1,216. And that's really great because things like diamonds have currency 8,192. So let's say we find one diamond, we've been farming for hours on end, and we finally found one diamond. And we're like, wow, so great, we can build a shovel. Or, you know what, even better, since I added that mod, we can put it in there and learn it. And then we can take out as many diamonds as we want, as long as we have enough currency to purchase the diamonds through the machine. That's basically how it works. So it's not super broken or anything, but it just allows us to not have to go around and farm one individual resource to the end of us, you know what I mean? But uh, I added a ton of cool mods. I added like a teleporting ring mod, a flying ring mod, and all these are pretty hard to make. So they're not just really easy and cheesy, you know? They're gonna take us some time. We're gonna have to get through a lot of the vanilla phase before we can even get onto any of the modded phase. I also added some other things like a season mod. All right, so there's gonna be summer, winter, spring, fall, all the seasons, and then all the seeds in the game are gonna be controlled by what season it is. So we can only grow them in certain seasons. Like for example, wheat, it says we can only grow them in summer and autumn. So it's a cool mod, you know? It's gonna snow in places that it shouldn't normally, probably even out here in the desert. And we'll only know what season it is if we make this right here. Here in the extras, they have a calendar and then they have a season sensor. We need paper before we can make the calendar. It just takes all paper. So that's pretty nice. It's a cool little mod, but it's getting dark now. So uh, we should probably find somewhere to bunker down maybe get a little safe place so that we don't get annihilated by some mobs here on the first night in here but that sunset is looking amazing look at the clouds too right above it looking fabulous let's run over this way i kind of like this little mountain kind of thing right here it brings peace you know it makes everything feel nice and safe even though there's nothing safe about it it's just a mountain but let's say i want to go in there and bunker up i can't so we're near it and there we go let's watch the rest of this sunset look at the water ignore the thunder outside of me not outside of me sorry outside of my house is what i'm saying <laughs> if you hear it basically what i'm saying the water looks so great dude that is so cool sunset amazing wow who needs real life when you have shaders like this <laughs> I'm just playing. But jeez, that cactus. The golden spine cactus just annihilated me. Anyways, though, this biome is part of a mod called Oh, the Biomes You'll Go. It's a pretty cool mod. Adds a bunch of different biomes. And I'm pretty sure this pink sand area that is right over here. Ow. Okay. Ow. We keep running into cactus. But there we go. Look at that. So that pink mountain right there. Yeah, the wind swept sand by oh the biomes you'll go. I added two biome mods. One called Biomes of Plenty, which most of you probably know if you're pretty known to modded Minecraft. And you probably know oh the biomes you'll go too, because it's pretty common as well. But it's nighttime, and I'm not seeing any mobs. But this is hardcore mode, so there should be mobs. But you know, I'm not complaining. At least we're safe. We're out here in the desert. No mobs to bother us. I actually don't see anything. Oh wait, but if you can look at the mini map, you see that little red circle thing with like an arrow in it? That's a mob. And it says that it is upwards from us, okay? So right up here, where's the mob? Oh, it's a skeleton. Let's not get in here. I don't want to get shot. We will take a lot of health from that. I'm pretty oh my gosh, and a cactus just spiked us. We need to eat. Regain a little bit of health. We're not full enough to jump around the cactus, dodge them all. And you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and end off the episode here. And we'll see you guys right back on episode two. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you later.